Well, just another quick video update. I'm going to try and show you a couple of things I did uh, to better my sim recently. I'm on one of my other computers here. I have a freeware program called Airport Designer, uh, Airport Design Editor X uh, for, uh, for FSX and uh, other versions of the sim as well, I believe. Anyway, the um, problem I ran into is uh, my local airport that I like to fly out of has always been a bit of a dud in FSX. So this program I decided to to get it and mess around with some airport editing. So um, for starters we'll, we'll open uh, the original airport and it's Charlie Yankee Golf Delta and we'll crack this open and give you an idea of uh, how easy this program is to use. It's really, really intuitive. I'm surprised I didn't give it a shot sooner. So here's the stock build of my local airport. Um, doesn't even have a complete taxiway. Uh, no parking. It has a fuel box, but nothing else. So there'd be no chance of doing any AI aircraft or anything like that. Uh, it does have a few runways, um, including a grass strip and uh, only one linking node there and a couple others this is fuel uh, this is the end of the runway 10 this is the fuel uh, box which is not even linked so which means AI aircraft can't use it um, if it had ATC control it wouldn't be functional and uh, a few generic buildings that it's got uh, kinda crammed in there uh, beacon tower and this is where the tower view uh, would come from from stock. Uh, not much to look at. It's pretty lousy. Uh, also they put the signs on the runway and there's one right almost on the center line so taxiing to this runway was a bit of a hazard. Um, looks like Ace has kind of failed a little bit on this one. So I'll crack open uh, the next version and show you what, uh, what I've done with it. So here we are with uh, my newer version queued up. Now keep in mind I've only spent uh, a couple hours playing with this so uh, later on at a later date I can probably do a, a whole lot better version. The map overlay is captured from uh, Google Maps. Uh, we don't have very good sat coverage of this airport so it's hard to zoom in and, and get high detail but you can see uh, it's just a, a screen capture. This does not show up on the actual airport. It's just used to assist you in, in setting it up. Um, the FSX did pretty good um, in lining up the runways. Actually, it's a little off, but that's I can correct that by uh, skewing the background image. You can see it, it's not centered. Not, I'm not too concerned about it. Like I say, it doesn't show up in the actual uh, in the actual sim. What does show up are all these multicolored objects. And in this case we have some trees over here, more trees here, uh, part of a plane, a cub, generic building, a hangar, and here you'll see I've put a whole bunch of parking uh, areas and these blue are, are nodes connecting in a taxiway. So now this is actually usable. Uh, there's a hold short I stuck that in because the AI has trouble if you don't have a, a hold short. And uh, got some more planes, uh, DC-3 sitting there. This in real life is actually a repaint hangar, uh, parking lot with a bunch of cars, a whole bunch of pylons because I'm having trouble getting uh, the fences to work. <laughs> haven't figured that out yet. Generic buildings. Um, this is uh, actually a truck center in real life. They uh, they do truck repairs and manufacturing. And next door to it, I decided to put some tents in an RV uh, just to spice things up a little bit and give some action. They're not animated though. So beyond that, uh, these big rectangles and 
these are actually birds. So I added gulls. We're right on the lake shore of Lake Huron here. Uh, you can see it just in the corner of the picture. There's a lot of gulls around and I just wanted to play with it a little bit. I would not advise using this many. They don't stay within the square. Uh, coming in on final is a bit of a hazard right now, but it, it's pretty neat. You can set the density of those to whatever you like. Um, yeah, pretty much. Um, what I ended up doing uh, was if I run um, uh, the Ultimate Terrain X for Canada, uh, it helps a lot. It puts this road actually butts right up against the airport. It's, it's not quite right, but it was easy enough to just move the aprons and, uh, and deal with the buildings, uh, even though this is actually shifted up a little bit. No big deal. Um, it's a heck of a lot better than what it was. And with all these uh, parking and gates, I was able to do something else. So I'll maybe show you what this looks like in the overhead and FSX real quick, and then I'll show you what else I was able to do uh, kind of next. So here we are with the FSX queued up. I uh, just slewed a Cessna up in there just to have a look around. but. Um, we can see this is all uh, ultimate terrain running in the background, but this is where the airport begins. I'm sorry, I'm just going to have the plane in the way. Um, I added that apron down there. I didn't really mess with the runways, but what I did mess with was all these areas down here. Uh, there's the DC-3 and some parking and a whole bunch of trucks and our tents and... Um, a lot of concrete and some taxiways and this building unfortunately is autogen I, I need to come up with a polygon to get rid of it uh, it's one of the few from the stock airport that keeps trying to come through you have to uh, set up polygons and, and exclusion areas to make it go away but there's lots of traffic on this road it's going bananas that are all moving traffic I'm not sure why they set that quite so high but uh, I run with my traffic wide open so yep this is uh, pretty much where it sits this aircraft down here and this Learjet 45 down here if I can get it just to put those are not static aircraft now that I had uh, some taxiways set up and functional runways I could invite AI traffic and uh, Pretty much if you build it, they will come, but um, I don't think this area is so low in traffic. I, d I don't think I would have got any, or at least not uh, what I wanted. So I, uh, I downloaded another program for uh, a freeware program, AI Flight Planner, and uh, I'll maybe give you a quick look at that next and uh, pretty much show you uh, how I was able to now inject real world traffic. So here we are in uh, the freeware program I downloaded called AI Flight Planner. Um, also, sorry for the quality of this video. I just noticed on replay uh, during the FSX that it's really horrible, but I'm running into real problems uh, when it's on high quality. You're using like six megs a second to record this. So unfortunately, it's going to be a little grainy and ugly, but you'll get the idea. So what I did. Uh, in this case, I opened my entire flight plan list for uh, FSX as it sits um, from stock, which is about uh, 34,255 of them. It's uh, quite a bit. But um, what matters most is this area on the right. Um, you can simply, I won't go through it, but you can... Uh, simply start a new flight plan and what you do is uh, what I did is set it to local time and I picked uh, what aircraft I wanted in this case uh, I wanted uh, a Learjet and a Dash 8 um, to run charter flights out of my airport because there is some. Um, you set this down to about 1% and uh, I set it on a week and uh, you just set your, your from code, your departure time and your two and over at ETA not necessary your cruising altitude and uh, your flight designation and add it in and then what you do is you need another leg to come back 
or multiple legs. You can have as many as you want and as long as the aircraft returns to the departing airport you're good to go. So uh, I can't find mine right now. I didn't save them separately and this program is a little flaky and likes to lock up so I won't alter what you're seeing here but um, it's pretty straightforward and I added that dash 8 and that Lear and now at uh, at 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. local time they come out it uh, it's actually kind of entertaining to just sit and watch and knowing exactly what they're up to and where they're going and when they're coming back uh, about half an hour or an hour later they turn around and come back actually the one flight's only about half an hour so it's only about an hour turnaround time and he comes right back to uh, my local airport to the Charlie Yankee Gulf Delta and lands back in again. Now that I uh, fix the taxiways and actually have some parking, it's still not ATC controlled, uh, no need for that. But uh, yeah, works like a champ. Uh, unless I'm sitting on a runway in the way, it works out pretty good. Maybe I'll try and get a shot of that, but uh, that's pretty much the extent of uh, what I've done. I'll uh, simply take these files and copy them over to my main FSX uh, Simpit uh, main PC, copy them into the folder and add them to the scenery and done deal. This is uh, pretty much the extent of it. So thanks for watching. So here we are with the uh, FSX queued up. I'm um, sorry, the quality is going to be poor. Uh, I meant to go a couple minutes earlier, but uh, I'm sitting in one of my parking areas at uh, 0700 local time, and sure enough, the uh, the Learjet that I added is getting ready to head out and do his charter flight to Charlie Yankee X-ray uniform. And uh, see, he follows his follows the taxi areas just fine. Uh, his quick look around from ground level at the airport I set up. Um, not much to see really, but I uh, thought it was pretty cool that uh, I can now set up uh, any AI traffic that I want. And of course, I'm going to have a Learjet. <laughs> so that's uh, pretty much the extent of it. Now that uh, I have a functional airport, no thanks to FSX, I can uh, set things up how I wish. and add uh, a little bit more realism to the actual uh, sim downstairs and uh, you can see the tail of that dash 8 up there he'll be heading out in about an hour and uh, he'll be back uh, pretty quick actually it's only uh, about an hour turnaround time there anyway that's pretty much the extent of the updates I thought it was uh, pretty neat to be able to edit and uh, tweak reality as it were without relying on someone else for uh, making the scenery. In my case, uh, the scenery is just quite simply not available. Um, the, the area is just not covered. I have a little bit of work to do here with uh, the aprons. I haven't figured out exactly how to get the coloration and uh, the different uh, taxiway markings just the way I want them. I may notice that in the airport ed editor program that it, it, it's not exactly a professional build as of yet but eh, soon will be thanks for watching